The Thief series has been around for over 25 years, and that sort of longevity eventually leads to problems on modern systems. The first two games, Thief Gold and Thief 2 The Metal Age, were particularly susceptible to this, but back in 2012, an anonymous user compiled and released an updated version of the Dark Engine that powers those two games, fittingly titled New Dark. Nowadays, getting them up and running on a modern computer is easy. This here is a small guide for newcomers and thief veterans to get your installs patched up and good to go. I've timestamped the video and left links in the description to all the patches so I can get straight into the nitty gritty and you can get your two decade old games ready to roll. Sound good? Great. You can get Thief Gold up and running real easy using JRoot's Rogue Patcher. It's a simple installer and is probably the closest you'll get to playing the game as it was back in the day. The first thing you want to do is start with a fresh install of Thief Gold. When installing Rogue Patcher, you need to select Common FM Scripts, Fan Mission DML Fixes, and Enable Built-in Fan Mission Launcher. I would personally recommend taking the Thief 2 objective notifications as well, so you actually get feedback when you complete an objective, which is something the first game didn't do for some reason. And if you really want to go retro, you can disable texture filtering in the additional tasks. This gives the textures in the game a much crunchier look. And uh, fair warning, don't install the multiplayer mod, as the scripts involved with it have the potential to break some parts of the game for now. I do have a guide for installing multiplayer correctly, so you can watch that if you're interested. Getting Thief 2 up to date is also straightforward. Jax's T2 fix installer is just as easy as Rogue Patcher, second first, same as the first. There might be a few more mods on the list than with Rogue Patcher, but all you need to get started is to select Common Script Modules and T2 FM DML. Everything else in the mod list is either graphical changes or minor gameplay changes, so it's up to your own personal preference whether you want those added or not. Next, set your video configuration to high and install OpenAL Soft, libmp3 lame, and clean up your directory. OpenAL Soft will allow for EAX capabilities. libmp3 lame is required for some FMs due to using MP3s instead of WAV files, and cleaning up the directory is self-explanatory, putting all the files into their own neat little folders. Select the advanced options to your taste, and you're good to go. If all you wanted to do was get the base game up and running, you can stop right here, but there have been countless custom missions made by fans over the past 25 years. You might even be here because of something like the Black Parade, which got a stunning amount of attention since its release in 2023. So if you haven't already enabled the built-in fan mission launcher with Rogue Patcher or are trying to figure it out after installing T2 Fix, here's what you do. Open your cammod.ini file from your install directory in Notepad, find the line that says FM, and uncomment it by deleting the semicolon in front of it. Alternatively, on Steam and GOG, you can add dash FM to your command line arguments. Either way, this will open up a program called FM Cell on Startup. But you still need fan missions to point it towards. There are a few sites to download them from, but I recommend you get your missions from thiefguild.com, since they have the most complete and updated collection. While this will get you FM ready, I suggest you also check out Angel Loader by Fen Phoenix to replace FM Cell. It's a little bit more robust, organized, and importantly, easy to install. It'll be included in the links in the description. Now, if this is your first time patching Thief 1 and 2, you're good to go. This last little bit is for the Thief veterans that may be having trouble updating to the most recent version of New Dark. If you already have patched your Thief Gold install in the past, you can back up your old install by moving your game's directory to somewhere else on your computer, verifying the integrity of your files on Steam, and voila, you have a fresh install without losing any of your previous saves or personalized config files. Otherwise, you only need to hold on to these files to copy over into your updated install. If you're working on a fan mission of your own, you should definitely back up your working FM directory, as well as your forward slash CMD directory and default.bnd file. You can just paste that into the new install, no issues. Between being staples of the stealth game genre and the community that keeps it alive by both maintaining it and making new content for it to this day, the preservation behind the first two Thief games cannot be understated. You can play for years and still find something new each time. Hopefully this guide made it easier for you to experience that for yourself. And if you're having any troubles not mentioned in the video, I'll be leaving an FAQ in the pinned comment below. Thanks for watching.